April 2, the message of the cross. God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. Galatians 6.14 God has given me a message for his people. You have been bought with a price, and all that you have and are is to be used to the glory of God and for the good of your fellow men. Christ died on the cross to save the world from perishing in sin. He asks your cooperation in this work. You are to be his helping hand. With earnest, unwearying effort, you are to seek to save the lost. The transforming power of Christ's grace molds the one who gives himself to God's service. No longer can he be indifferent to the souls perishing around him. He realizes that every part of his being belongs to Christ, who has redeemed him from the slavery of sin, that every moment of his future has been bought with the precious lifeblood of God's only begotten Son. Have you so deep an appreciation of the sacrifice made on Calvary that you are willing to make every other interest subordinate to the work of saving souls? The same intensity of desire to save sinners that marked the life of the Savior marks the life of his true follower. The Christian has no desire to live for self. He delights to consecrate all that he has and is to the Master's service. He is moved by an inexpressible desire to win souls to Christ. How can I best glorify him whose I am by creation and by redemption? This is to be the question that we are to ask ourselves. With anxious solicitude, the one who is truly converted seeks to rescue those who are still in Satan's power. We have now only a little time in which to prepare for eternity. People need the truth, and by earnest, faithful effort, it is to be communicated to them. Souls are to be sought for, prayed for, labored for. Upon us rests the weighty responsibility of warning the world of its coming doom. God calls upon his church to arise and clothe herself with power. Immortal crowns are to be won. The kingdom of heaven is to be gained. The world, perishing in ignorance, is to be enlightened.